Hello everyone, welcome to the Cam channel. This is Xue Hang. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to maintain a silver silver chloride reference electrode. Silver silver chloride reference electrode is a very commonly used reference electrode in the aqueous electrolyte. Today, I'm going to show you how to maintain a silver silver chloride reference electrode. Here shows a picture of CHI silver silver chloride reference electrode. There is a cap, a power glass tip, silver wire in the middle, and the glass is filled with the potassium chloride electrolyte. For the filling solvents, we usually use 3.5 mole potassium chloride. Problem is that concentration of the solvent may change due to the evaporation. We can also use the saturated potassium chloride. The good point is that the concentration is reproducible and even temperature independent. The problem is that the solid salts that emerge in the electrolyte may lead to high impedance. Before use, we need to get rid of the bubble by gently knocking on the electrode. Now we have rinsed the electrode with water. After each use, we need to store the reference electrode properly. It is because the power glass part is very fragile, so it's better to keep the reference electrode vertically and always immerse it in the saturated potassium chloride. So here Chopin shows how we do a regular maintenance of a silver silver chloride reference electrode. She opened the reference electrode and refill it with the potassium chloride solution and then Gently put the cap back. Then we knock the tube by gently knocking it and then rinse it with water. So sometimes before you use the silver reference electrode, you may notice that the color of the silver wire is different or the surface of the silver wire is not smooth. In this case, we need to polish the silver wire in order to offer a standard potential. We can do physical polish as well as chemical polish. For physical chem polish, we can just simply use a fine sandpaper. For the chemical polish, we can use the concentrated ammonium hydroxide then we need to recoat the silver wire with silver chloride. So there are also are two ways. One way is chemical methods. The other way is electrochemical methods. For the chemical methods, you can buy some regions that help you recoat the silver surface. For the electrochemical methods, what we can do is that we can just put the freshly polished silver wire back into potassium chloride electrolyte. Then we make a, a two electrode cell with the reference electrode as the positive electrode, the platinum electrode as the negative electrode. And we just give a very, very small current such as 10 microampere overnight. We will be able to have the silver chloride coating on the silver wire. For regular using of the silver silver chloride reference electrode, we should always avoid the basic solution. That is because the silver can form the silver oxide or silver hydroxide with the, the basic solution. And we should also avoid using the ammonia buffer. That is because the ammonia can dissolve the silver chloride. We should also avoid using the sulfide electrolyte. That is because silver sulfide is insoluble. Here we show how we polish the silver wire. So we use a fine sandpaper to remove the surface of the silver wire. And then we use the water to rinse it. Next, we use methanol to rinse the silver wire again. After drying the silver wire, We 
We then refill the tube with potassium chloride and put the freshly polished silver wire back to the tube. Again, we get rid of the bubble. And then we need to recoat the silver wire with the silver chloride. So we prepare a beaker and insert the reference electrode into a foam together. We pair it with a platinum electrode. And we put both electrodes into the 3.5 molar potassium chloride electrolyte. Then we connect positive electrode with the reference electrode and the negative electrode with the platinum electrode. And then we apply a small current overnight in order to get the silver chloride coating. We maintain this channel only on the weekends. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. The video in our ECAM channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our videos to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.